day so far, just getting all ready for our hunt this weekend. Um, we're going to have the whole crew together. So Connor and Little White, Larry and Big Blue and me as well. So get everybody together for a hunt, that's always good. Um, been preparing a few bits last minute but it's always the way. So shout out to the boys at Rangira Firestone. So I picked up some uh, new rims and tyres for Connor's truck yesterday. And I didn't end up getting around there until probably oh, 10 to 5. They were going to close anyway. And um, the nice guy in there was kind enough to chuck those on for me. So they're a legend. Cheers for that. And uh, yeah, just picked up some ammo, bits and pieces. I'll just shoot home now, check the guns shooting straight. And then we'll probably head off 3 30, 4 o'clock tonight. And um, yeah, do a bit of four wheel driving and fill the freezer. We'll let you know how we get on. Never thought I'd say this, guys, but that's Larry's patrol. It's not a different colour, it's just clean. There's not a speck of mud on it. Yep. Never seen that ever from Larry, but oh, that's good. Guys, as per usual, we're just waiting on Larry. Every time we go hunting, eh? He's, um, he's like a woman. Trucks all ready to go. Alex is here, he's volunteered to help out camera work. Yeah, boy. Yeah, now you Sneak. Yep. Every time. <laughs> Let's go. So, first night. <laughs> yes. What's yes. the plan? Uh, we'll head in and we'll just do a bit of bow shooting while we wait for uh, Connor and uh, get a bit of bow action on camera, hopefully. So, yeah, Larry and I basically we've come ahead this afternoon. Um, we've boosted up nice and early. Connor's probably he'd be an hour and a half behind us in Little White. Um, he had to muck around and get his new wheels on. So, we're going to go ahead now up this track and drive probably what, halfway down the farm? Yeah, about halfway down, then we'll wait for Connor to show up, and um, yeah, then we'll continue the rest of the way to the hut. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll pull up on the saddle and start looking for deer and get a wiggle on, do a bit of a bow hunt with Larry's bow, film that, and then uh, yeah, Connor and that will meet us later on, and we'll uh, drive out the back and camp in the hut, and then go for a good hunt in the morning, so... Super well driven, like yeah. The deer just come straight back out of there. You know, I was still too a driver on the clay. Guys, we've been hunting for five minutes. Larry's told us off about three times for not being fast enough. He's a man on a mission. But yeah, we've been on the farm now for probably ten minutes. Probably seen 40 deer, I'd say. And probably 30 to 40 goats already. Um, yeah, so it should be good. Thank you. 
it's just up there too. Right, anyways, um, it took us a wee while to find him, but uh, he didn't actually go that far, maybe 40 metres or so, 50 metres, but um, we were just following the tracks around in circles and ended up going backwards to where we came from. Uh, but yeah, no, he didn't go too far and a little bit far back on the shot, but still got, got him in the lungs. And yeah, not, not a heck of a lot of blood, but um, yeah, that no, was a good one. But for the old bone, didn't actually think... Uh, didn't actually think we'd get one. <laughs> and it was getting getting a bit dark by the time we got here. So yeah, ah, cheers, uh, cheers for the help boys. Yeah, well done, what was that, an hour track? Maybe more? Oh yeah, about an hour to go 50, 50 yards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only because we went in circles twice. Yeah, Yeah. Right. Nah, we job. spiker. Should be a good one for the table anyway. Fill up George's freezer. Yeah. Mm. So you good, oh well, we got a big carry now to get up the hill and uh, get back to the truck, eh? So, better crack on. Yep. Alright, it's probably just only good for gut and trout. Oh, Larry's already whinging because he's got another Gerber in his hands. But that's what you get if you don't bring a knife, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to choose. I was the one, now I'm going to get blood. No, oh, I've got blood on my pants. Oh. My good pants. And my Sunday you shouldn't have worn your going out pants. Yeah. And your John Balls. <laughs> this guy, literally, going out pants, John Balls. He's had to borrow a knife, borrow a headlight. And um, sometimes he yells at me for being unprepared, eh? Ridiculous. Ooh, it fixed the chat. Yeah, well, we're all up and about now, just about. Um, we've had a good night spotlighting. That's the meat side of it taken care of, so. Now we're going to try probably some some longer range shots and stuff and try and get it all on camera for you. Have a look around. Oh, you'll whinge. <laughs> Morning, Alex. Morning, George. Oh yeah, what's for breakfast? Croissant, red wine, black coffee. <laughs> Mate, I feel like we're in Bali. <laughs> Yeah, there's having spikes. Yep, that's actually part of my breakfast. So, breakfast the champions. What's Tash doing? Still wishing she was in bed? <laughs> See ya! Come here, sir. Yep. Don't poke that thing at me. Oh! Don't poke that thing at anyone. Cozy night on the way hut. Me fire was going. Get it, drive it into the hut, bro. For the content, bro. Or under the patrol and out the other side. Whoa! Oh my god. You're blowing my coffee over. He's cleaning the deck. Oh! Pilot. <laughs> Pilot. <laughs> <laughs>
Hi guys, we've uh, Larry's just made a heartbreaking discovery. Um, Tell us a bit about what's going on, Larry. So I went to unpack all my gear and get my rifle ready. And um, apparently there's something missing that's supposed to go in there. And I can't find it anywhere, <laughs> so I have to say that I think I've left my bolt at home. No bolt, no worries. You can always yell at the deer. <laughs> yeah, you might as well put that box of ammo away. Well, I won't be needing it, will I? Unless you want to throw the bullets. Note this, guys, for the next time. Larry abuses me for forgetting something on the hill. <laughs> Little white's looking good. And new, new wheels. Connor's wrapped. Okay. That's looks good. team have just left. They're on their way up to the TV tower to see if they can shoot some deer. Um, we've had quite a good night spotlighting. So it's the freezer work taken care of, eh? Yeah, we're going to try and find something a bit further away to, to poke, but Larry's already sulking. <laughs> he's, left, left my he's left his bolt at home, so he's, uh, Alex has kindly lent him a 223, so. Bloody good, right? To get within range now. Let's go. Cool. There he goes. Good stuff. Go down. Cash is on the board. Yeah, not bad either actually. Mm. It's good size. A few more just fucked off over that hill. Good stuff. Good work. Shot down. Still just bumping as usual. Is that us? <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm George. Oh, I'm Larry. And there's Alex. Yeah, see how we go.
Nico. Well, that's the deer. George, um, Ed, just add the antlers. Which ones do you want to pick? <laughs> Have you got any 12 points for this? Um, I want small ones. There you go, there's a set, set the bigger bunch on there. So we're just working out what antlers we want to put on the deer. Oh, what a beauty, George. We have a match. What a beauty. Look at that rack. What's that? One, two, three, four, <laughs> seven, eight. Oh, that, we can almost count that as one. Nice. Nine. How, how, how do you feel with that? Nice dawn pointer. Antlers. Yes, shit. <laughs> antlers in October. Um, 181 yards, 165 gram fill. Shooting there, Mr. George. I leave the saw in the bag, yeah, it wasn't giving much, so. Nah, beautiful little eater, that one. Another one for the meat wagon, eh? Fill the freeze up. Well, um, yeah, sweet as well, um, we'll head up. Larry's just doing a, a GoPro now, so just tell us again what's happened. Well, on an epic, epic adventure to help Larry collect the antlers, he <laughs> so desires. I uh, volunteered myself, my brave white truck. To go in the depths of hell to, to recover it, but uh, yeah, no, we're stuck. <laughs> stitch up from Larry. Yeah, yeah, that's an absolute stitch up from Larry. So, um, oh, we've just shot a deer anyway, so I'm just going to take it straight down to the truck. It's not far, and then um, we'll send a, a vehicle up to you. Yeah, bloody good. Um, just query on the left hand side of the tower. Is the big face on the other side, is that Larry's or is that his neighbour's? No, that's ours. Yeah, no, that's all Larry's. Oh, fuck's sake, we didn't shoot any because we're worried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, you can shoot those. Um, yeah. Some of them get quite far on the other side of that gully too and they make a bit of a stonking recovery, eh? Yeah, they're about 500, 600. So I was going to creep a bit closer and get the girls to have a couple of shots. We've seen a bob of 25, so we'd at least got one or two out of it. <laughs> Awesome. Oh well, we'll um, we'll sort this out and head your way. You could probably just go for a walk. How's the new backpack, George? Um, good. It's got its pros and cons. Um, it'd be a pro. Oh, it's not too heavy. Um, it tastes good. You know, like if you get caught and you need food, it's edible. You can actually eat the backpack. Cons. Um, you can't put really anything in it. So. Safe-wise, you know, it's all about the food. Can you strap anything on the back of it? Like, a, is there a rifle scabbard or anything? Oh, uh, not really, no. It's pretty simple. But it does blend in with the animals. It's quite a good one for stalking deer. Probably not during the raw. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Brings the flies in too, if you're interested in flies. Yeah. No, I think I'll get a new one. Cameraman's log. George and Larry have ditched me. I took the trucks, took the rifles, took my Snickers bar. Fucking hate those guys. their votes in hopefully before it's too late before it closes yeah so I just arrived here little white's rescue
<laughs> no, no luck. No. I went up. I just had one here. You. you almost made it up. Oh, almost. But yeah, I just didn't get any more traction. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, I knew this. I, I, don't, I don't think I was going to be wet up here. Yeah, no. Yeah. Wet snow. Oh, nice and chilly. Any deer? Heaps down there. Yeah. Because like we thought it was the uh, someone else's problem. No, no, that, 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 that whole ridge is the boundary pretty much. There's literally all the 20 of them. You need um, you won't need a diff lock. <laughs> um, she's been a great couple of two days, evening and a day. Going with the bow. Yeah. Got a couple with the old spotlight. With, uh, yeah, we've ticked all the boxes really, eh? Yeah, we have, yeah. Heaps of spikers. Heaps <laughs> of spikers. spikers. <laughs> Nothing but spikers. Nothing but spikers. All spikers. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh. clag's rolled in a bit now, so. Got, got a few goats as well. Stuck. Little white got stuck, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> First yeah. official right outdoors recovery. Yeah. But um, oh yeah, you winched yourself out pretty much. Well, so I wanted to tar now, but he insisted on winching. Yeah, well, I kind of started using it as a snatch rod. No. Yeah, that's what I said. I said, mate, just stop, would you? You're using the winch. <laughs> no, no, I'm snatching him. <laughs> winch cable whipping around like a skipping rope. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But uh, professional. Yeah. It's alright. There's a safety safety weight on it. So yeah, that's getting done.